use of entrepreneurs around Noni. That's, that's the kind of a disruptive technology which it is using. It's shifting the focus from sickness to, to wellness. And, and to compare uh, the sustaining innovation, which most of us have done, many of the distinguished delegates on the front row, they have been involved in doing innovation in agriculture research system. I can see Dr. Punjab Singh, Dr. R.B. Singh, and many of you who have been involved in, in doing research. I would like to suggest that many of us were involved in green revolution technology, but quickly we moved over to sustaining innovation. Uh, what's required is how do we disrupt innovation? And, and that's where I made a comparison between efforts required in sustaining innovation, low-end disruption innovation, and new market disruption. I would like to suggest to all of you that what you are doing is, is disrupting the entire market of wellness, disrupting the entire market of healthcare, and helping them to understand that instead of becoming reactive to different sickness, you could create proactively a sense of control individually as well as in the family where, where you, could, you could help everyone to understand that you own your own wellness. You can help others to create a wellness ecosystem. So, so what I want all of you to take home today is that you are involved in disrupting the entire healthcare system in the world. And that's a major innovation which you are all involved. There are three elements to disruptive innovation. And I would spend some time uh, describing those three elements. One is the technology enabler. Uh, what Professor Kirti Singh is doing under ABLE's leadership is looking at what kind of research needs to be supported, what kind of network of organization needs to be built together, how do you create technology of cultivation, technology of processing, technology of pharmacology. So, so what World Noni Research Foundation is involved is in creating a technology enabler for you to spread the wellness revolution. And, and, and what it is doing, as Professor Chengapa was mentioning right now, it's an underexploited crop, Noni. I, I was told by Professor Ratanam that uh, the place where I used to work with him in my earlier incarnation, Noni was grown all over the beaches in the Kasargod area, and I wasn't aware. So it is a very unknown crop, and what technology enabler Professor Kirti Singh and his group of team is doing is to put together all kinds of research projects to, to generate the right kind of technology which would enable Noni to spread across the world. There is a business model innovation. Disruption technology requires three things to merge together. There is a business model innovation uh, which requires uh, a profitable delivery of simplified solutions to consumer. And what Professor Peter has done is to experiment with different ingredients, different simple building blocks of, of spreading, disseminating, diffusing the benefits emerging from Noni and marrying it with alternative traditional ways of healing. And that's the kind of uh, innovation which Professor Peter has done. But what's very critical is the value network which you create. In apps, if you do not configure technology enabler, business model innovation, and value network, you will not be able to disrupt. And what's good about Noni family is that it has created a commercial infrastructure whose constituencies have consistently disruptive but mutually reinforcing economic models. Let me spend some time on looking forward. Currently, what World Noni Research Foundation is doing is creating a body of knowledge around a lesser known crops. But looking forward, what we need to recognize 
is that 